Good morning, folks. We've got weather, space news, earthquake news, and more. Taking a peek at our star here where bright umbral magnetic fields are trying to trick us. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours. Those bright regions do not actually have any sunspots. It's a blank disk in that regard. Minor thin plasma filaments and the large dark coronal hole are visible. Those filaments take stage in 304 angstroms around the limbs while the regions lacking sunspots also lack brightness. The solar wind is intensifying this morning due to the now departed coronal hole on the north. The stream is very weak thus far, but we'll watch it today as we expect another stream from the southern opening in a few days. That's the one to which we magnetically connected last night. Very rare rumble was the top quake of the day as the polar regions began to get involved. Elsewhere, blood echo events are surging a bit at multiple fault systems. Let's go on to the satellites where this storm is riding up the Japan coastline today. Many systems on alert in the east and central Pacific, with Hector luckily going to miss Hawaii to the south but for some outer arm rain bands. An amazing ground to jet stream current flow in John, but it's not like we don't already have weather worries up in the States. It is that time of year where you need to pay some attention to what's coming your way almost every day. And the lightning refused to get closer to me than this last night, but it was concentrated and doing step leaders into multiple return strikes. In one instance, we had six return strikes in a flashing burst, and after a pause, they found the exact same line again four more times. Let's go to space, where New Horizons is moving on from Pluto and will apparently skim just 3,500 kilometers past 2014 MU69. They expect to get high-resolution images and be able to detect water ice if it's there. Interesting article out about Europa and Ganymede. Jupiter's moons orbiting inside its magnetosphere appear to increase chorus wave intensity, surging electron flows by up to one million times. Over 40 new exoplanets were announced this week. While they span the range from Mercury size to Jupiter, they're all very, very close orbiting as you can see Mercury's orbital distance bottom left. They're all close. Top stories for our cosmology buffs. Not only is our no dark matter prediction coming through nicely, but the evidence for our covert matter hypothesis is taking boosts by the week. Here we learn that the dust can begin acting very interestingly when electric fields change and begin to affect these cosmic plasmas in microgravity. This is a profoundly unexpected behavior, and sadly for mainstream cosmologists, they've determined it's likely a common thing in the cosmos they've just never seen before now. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.